Hi everybody, Shannon and Karen here with Wandering at Yonder. Today we are in Todoros State Park. Todoros State Park. I called it the wrong thing a minute ago. So anyway, <laughs> we're going to take you on a campground tour. There's a campground here. Uh, Cadoris is known for its huge lake. It's very big. Lake Marburg. Right. A lot of fishing, a lot of boating, that sort of thing. So we're going to just share with you the campground in case you um, are planning on making a trip or going camping here. Okay, so we have decided to camp in the non-electric sites. Loop A. Yeah, this is Loop A. This is actually really nice. They are kind of spaced out here. Is the end of April. Yeah, this is the end of April, beginning of May. This is our site, which is kind of nice. It sits back to the woods. There's nobody behind you. Anyhow, night, yeah. yeah, this is a Sunday morning. Um, and this is late or spring, I guess. Not too crowded right now, but I imagine when school's out, it starts picking up business here. But anyhow, you can see. These are the non-electric sites. So, um, each loop, I think there's three loops here. Anyway, <clears throat> they each have a bathhouse. And as you can see, a trash, re trash receptacle right here. Um, I think there's potable water sources. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. so anyhow, we're going to take you and show you the restrooms. This is the restroom, and it's pretty clean actually. It's especially for a weekend. Let's see, several potties, and then in the back are some showers. And like I said, it's clean. You have a nice clean shower. No, it was rather chilly in here. Yeah, and there are the sinks. Soap and water provided there. So again, there's some receptacles, some for recyclables there as well. And around the side here, I believe, is a sink area. Someone's using it right now, but there is a sink area, so you can bring things out here to wash them at the sink area. And there are little paths that bring you over to the bathhouse, scattered around. But you can see this is a tenting area back here. Lots of tents. So, again, as we said, we are on loop A. This loop does not have electric uh, on it. But there's some pretty nice sites. So if you are self-contained or feel like you don't need electric and water hookups, at your side, uh, you know, with your, with your setup. Some then these are pads. nice, not bad. Yeah, and some of them have these nice tent pads that you can see, and back up right to the woods, so you do have some privacy. You can see site 34 right there. There's a little bit of a slope as you're going down the hill on these sites, so you would have to level up on them. Okay, so there's about 45 sites, I think on loop A. Um, we are cutting through the woods right now to the next loop to show you that and this this particularly has hookups electric water. I don't think any of them have sewer. There is a dump station. Anyhow, let me turn you around. Okay, so we are on loop B right now and like I said these have electric and water and they're pretty deep in. I mean you have plenty of room. <clears throat> there is another bathhouse right across here. But they're also a little less private. So, um, but they're, they're nice. They're paved sites. A lot of them are level through here. This is site 53 ahead of us. You can see another bathhouse way over there. So they do give you quite a few bathhouses in the area to help accommodate people. Right, so you can see there's some potable water right there, but these sites have hookups, complete hookups. I didn't realize that. Some of them do have sewer and water and electric, so. And this is kind of a nice one right here. It backs up right into the woods. There's your fire pit. That was site 53, I think. 
No, or 57. I'm sorry, that was 57. Anyhow, but it does open up into this field over here on the right. Cool. Is that cool or what? Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, we're here Potter geeks. Anyway, over here on the right, you can see this is just kind of a field. Um, and if you're okay with that, then that's great. Not my cup of tea when I'm camping, but they do have full hookups. You can see. This is also the dog friendly area. Yeah, this is also dog friendly area. And then the inner loop here. There's an inner loop and an outer loop. All right, so there are cabins available. I do not know, yeah, this one's a handicap. I don't know what the amenities are. I've not looked, but you can, I'm sure. Uh, so far, yeah, it is. Now we did see a yurt. Yeah. So they do have yurts too. Looks like some of the areas in the campground have paths that you can walk through from one section to the other. Water fountain and potable water source right here. And all of these are full hookups. And yeah, I think Shannon's right. You can tell by the gravel on the side of the road, they've just, the yeah, they've just upgraded all of this. So this is the main road. It's taking us to loop C and D. So we're going to be taking you up. Okay, so I guess this has four loops. I think originally I said it only had three. But it has four. Okay. So we took you on the B loop. And then I've noticed um, around the campground are little doggy stations where they have bags for their doggies. Droppings, <laughs> poo, whatever, however you want to call it. Anyhow, which is nice. All right, so we're heading into loop C. Which definitely seems like it's geared towards the bigger. Yeah. This, CND is geared towards the bigger RVs. Yeah. This this does look like it's geared more towards that. A lot of vans out here. Look this, at that. This is no electric. This is no no hookups. Okay. All right, so we are on loop C, and we can see if there are hookups here. I don't think that there are. Electric, electric, uh, only. electric only. All right, so electric only. So it looks like maybe they only have one loop that offers all uh, full hookups. But I don't know. There, there you go. Nope, I'm wrong about that. Looks like they, this is new. Yeah, the septic. Yeah, because they didn't used to have the full hookup septic and all of that in this campground. I know that because they camped in this campground before many, many years ago. But anyway, they do. They do have them. So that's kind of nice for anybody pulling these bigger campers that wants full hookups. They do have the sewer right there on the site along with the water and the electric. So that's pretty nice. So again, these are... Lots of trees in the area, so you don't feel quite um, too close to anybody once the leaves come in. And again, there's another bathhouse on this loop, so that makes it nice to have the bathhouse, trash receptacles. Coming around loop C, there's a yurt available. And if you look off in the distance, you can see the lake down there. So you can walk through the woods to the lake if you want it from here. Which is kind of cool. See, look back in there. Yeah. Nice view of the lake. It's a huge lake. All right, again, there's some cabins over here to the left, which I was unaware that they had cabins in this campground, but they do. And again, you just have to check online to see what the amenities are. Now, this is an area that's very open. Um, again, not a lot of trees, pretty open. Looks like they have electric hookups here. Definitely meant for me. Yeah, big rigs fit in fine out here. But there's not a lot of shade, so that's something to consider. Um, and these are in the 140, 150 area. Okay, Shannon says she thinks we're on the D loop. Okay, and so they are our campground hosts scattered throughout the park. Um, so you do have access, I think, probably to a campground host on each loop, it looks like. And, uh, yeah, again, you I have trash, right? 
So, all right. Shannon says that's the boat launch. It takes you down if you want to launch your boat. But that's um, one of the big draws in this particular campground or this um, state park is this huge lake. As you can see, there's some pretty big rigs camped or parked here. All right, and so Shannon says there are some walk-in tent camping sites, which I um, haven't seen those yet. All right, so this is, again, I think she said the D-loop that we're on right now. This looks like it's extra parking right here. So it's up to the 170s, yeah. so it's to be 170s, close to 200 campsites. water sources. But yeah, these are pretty open back in here. Um, and if you don't mind that, then that's great. And, but they also are on a side of a hill. So there is some, um, they're not quite level. They're a little bit off. So you would have to level out on these particular sites through here. We're in the 170s right now. But again, this little park it was a playground. We were out there yesterday with my granddaughter. Okay, so this is the dump station for the campground right over here. Pretty big. So, there you go. And there is a trash receptacle here at the end of it. Alright, so we are at the entrance exit area of the uh, campground right now. And you can pick up wood here and ice. Wood was $10. Wood was a bit expensive. Yeah. You got a fair amount of wood for it though and ice, we picked up ice here. All right, so anyhow, that was Cadoris State Park.